For almost 20 years, it has not been possible to offer your vacation rental on a request to book mode on Booking.com. But now, here it is. Look at this page. Look at this new property listed on Booking.com in the US. It has a button called Request to Book, right? So instead of having a button you know, that's directly guiding you to uh, uh, book a place, um, it has a button that invites you to send a message to the host. So let me show you how it works exactly. Um, so I'm picking a place on, on booking for those date and I click on request to book. Um, and here, this is being, <laughs> this being uh, booking, you have a lot of options of, of prices depending on the occupancy. But let's say I'm picking this apartment for those dates and I request to book. You can see here, there's a lot of details about it, right? It is telling me it's not instant booking, right? This booking isn't instantly confirmed. The host will respond within 24, uh, 24 hours. If your request is accepted, you can decide whether you want to finish your booking. So let's see if I do go forward. If I go forward, basically then I get another page where I'm invited to send a message to the host. Hello and request to book. What, but what's very interesting is what's here on the right hand side. In a sense that um, they are telling me that the host will not only get my request for this property, my little message I'm bringing here, but as well as other data, right? Other information as such as, you know, they will, the host will know whether my email and phone number, email address, I'm guessing, and phone number have been verified. Uh, how, how many years I have been using, for how many years I've been using Booking.com, whether it's domestic or child trip, and maybe as well, uh, whether I have no past misconduct by behavior recorded by Booking.com, whether I've had more than five bookings on the platform, uh, or never created a no-show. So you can see here, basically, if you put yourself to the shoes of a host, you are getting a request to book with a message from the guest, plus some information whether this person, for example, has been a, um, a lo loyal user to Booking.com for, say, five years, and have a lot of bookings, and uh, there's no trace of misconduct. So all this, hopefully, will uh, tell the host that um, this person making a request can be trusted. Um, obviously, what Booking.com is lacking, especially compared with Airbnb, is guest profiles, right? Um, uh, so there's like no really guest reviews, for example, right? Hosts don't review guests on Booking.com. So it means that um, it means that uh, Booking has to send more information around the be around the behavior of the guest that they can share. And again, for example, has this guest uh, has a, does he have do they have an history of bad behavior or you know, me, how, how long have they been using the platform? That's really to create trust so that you will say yes to the request. And again, why is, is Booking doing this after so many years? Well, a few things. A lot of people have not been wanted to, wanting to list a property on Booking.com because they didn't want instant book. They wanted to vet people or they wanted to talk with them, make sure the, uh, the property was the right fit for them. Uh, think about the luxury segments, right? And a lot of places in luxury segments are not available on instant booking mode. So it means that booking.com was just not getting these very big juicy bookings because uh, they were not available on instant booking mode. Uh, another thing is uh, that sometimes as property manager, you don't have the exclusive rights to the property you're marketing, right? So it means that if you were instant booking, you may have you may get a double booking, and double booking on Booking.com is horrible. You have to pay so much money to then re re say no and cancel a booking and pay for the relocation of a guest. You really don't want that. So, so basically, the fear of property damage, the fear of the unknown guests, or just the fear of double bookings, we're really pushing people away from listing on Booking.com. So let's see whether this request to book button really gets more people to list.